Ben. Good morning, Mr. Fakir. Morning. Good morning. How was your meeting with the Prime Minister? Uh, well, it was long, and um, uh, it was okay. I mean, I'm not full of optimism, but um, it gave me an opportunity to just uh, re-emphasise what many people have told her, that obviously a no deal would be disastrous. And speaking on behalf of my members, in particular in manufacturing, uh, we need to make certain that we can avoid that at all costs. And Really what I was saying to the Prime Minister, look, is this just a PR stunt uh, for you, for the media and for you to say that uh, you've consulted with trade union officials or is this a genuine attempt to see if we can talk about issues that matter to us, not just workers' rights and the protection of those workers' rights going forward, but also how we can protect investment and in particular jobs. and. Um, you know, warm words are one thing, but action is what's needed. So we'll wait and see. And what did she say to you? Robin did the correct thing. I think he was vindicated by not coming to the meetings. The SNP and the Liberal Democrats looked rather stupid by going in. And in fact, it needed Nicola Sturgeon to step in and save face. So I think Jeremy Corbyn was correct. Uh, he's the leader of a political party. I'm obviously the leader of a trade union. There's different issues. He's got a difficult task keeping the Labour Party uh, together and I think he's doing a brilliant job. Now, obviously, in terms of uh, laying down conditions, um, uh, for me, it's really about the Prime Minister. Uh, she needs to take an initiative in order to uh, pull people towards for further discussion. I've also made it clear that, in my opinion, if she is serious about negotiating and seeing if there's a deal that has the support of Parliament, then there has to be an extension of Article 50. Um, so, you know, we've heard today about Airbus, a company, 14,000 workers, most of them Unite members who are deeply concerned. Uh, Jaguar Land Rover, one of the great successes of our nation over the past number of years, uh, making it clear that a no deal could lead to them actually going bankrupt. Now, that cannot be allowed to happen. I personally don't believe any British Prime Minister would allow it to happen. So, it's about the Prime Minister basically uh, taking the initiative, demonstrating she's serious and opening up proper discussions. But with those aims? Well, I, you know, certainly, I, I think the amendment talks about nine months. I think that's way, way too long. Uh, I'd like to see an extension of Article 50 maybe for about three months if indeed proper negotiations are going to take place. Um, I don't know what the Labour Party will do in, in terms of Yvette's uh, amendment, but it, it's a bit long, the nine months. And we have to give a clear indication uh, that um, the referendum result, which is only, what, two, two years ago, two and a half years ago, that people are not trying to dismiss it by stealth, by just looking for extension after extension. And I, I think, uh, these are awkward issues to find a way through. Len, you've negotiated, that's what you do. When you look in 